I well, had the, an idea on a train in 1990. <laughs> I was going to say, the, the woman to my left wrote a series of books. That, yes, I, I wrote a series of children's books. And they books. sold a couple of copies. They did. Didn't you? They did. But we thought we'd come and help her out a bit. Yeah, and th uh, thankfully someone at last came and helped me. When Sonia and Colin approached me, um, I... I, had, I thought long and hard about it because, you know, it's the most successful literary franchise of all time with good reason. And, you know, people, the fans cleave to these characters in this world mm -hmm. almost with their soul. Because which 11 year old doesn't believe that they're leading the wrong life and wants an owl to arrive with a letter saying you're actually a witch or a wizard? The prospect was daunting. Kind of enormous. It was, it, the prospect was enormous for me too. The stakes were really high. And I had always been quite um, resistant, if I'm honest, to the idea of putting it on stage. And I've said no to so much. So it, it had to be a very special and unusual idea to make me think, actually, that could be good. But if there's one thing I've learned in life, it is all about the people you work with. And Sonia Friedman and Colin Callender came to me with a proposal that I really liked. And that's really where it began. But I didn't commit and decide until I, until I knew who I would be working with. And it's these guys that really made it happen. It's been the most amazing collaboration. I've loved it. When Joe was writing um, Philosopher's Stone, yeah. one of the cafes in Edinburgh that she wrote it in was the Travers Theatre, where I just got a job as an assistant director doing my apprenticeship in theatre. And I kept seeing this woman with a pram who, um, who was writing in longhand. Then Sonia and Colin, um, we uh, introduced me to Joe again, um, and we were like, mm, well, I obviously knew that I'd, I'd worked He Joe looked before. really familiar. <laughs> yeah. But I thought I've now reached an age where you've met so <laughs> many yeah, people yeah. that everyone sort of reminds you of someone else in your life. <laughs> so I was looking at John thinking, you look really familiar, but I obviously have met you know, another three men who looked like... And then when he yeah. said, I mean, oh my God, the Traverse Theatre. That felt quite yeah. predestined. And then the, that was the, the other people at the table had to just listen to us, basically. Yeah, then we just <laughs> talked <laughs> solidly for an hour at As each is, other. Like, which has been the last three years. Yeah, exactly right, yeah. <laughs> um, Jack, I already had in mind um, to, to ask if he was interested. We met at Marble Arts Station, walking up to the Park Lane Hotel, and, um, and John said, so I've been offered this thing, and I would think I thought, you know, he was telling me that as a friend, and I was going, "That's amazing! That'd be <laughs> brilliant, and that's wonderful, and that's really exciting for you." And then he said, "You fancy it?" And I, I mean, I, I literally fell off the pavement. And John talks about hesitating, considering all the important questions that you need to consider, and all those kind of things. I didn't hesitate one second; just walked in there stupidly, like a. Uh, ridiculous fireman that's poorly dressed um, oh. and just hope that it would all be okay. From my point of view, I, um, I in those early meetings we had in Joe's writing room up in Edinburgh, um, which, would, which I cherish and remember Me so too. vividly, yeah. um, where, you know, I was, you know, we were talking about the Hogwarts Express and, and the scene that happens on the top of there. We were talking about basically the, the epic nature of the books and how theatre tells stories much slower, which is then how we came to tell it in two parts. These two we were very rightly saying, but how are you going to do I that? Kept saying, <laughs> I kept saying, we would have these ideas, and I kept saying, how will we do that though? And Jack kept saying, we can do it. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea it. how to do it. <laughs> we can do it. Like you with, with, with writing, like you with novels and screenplays, you know, anything is possible. And I believe that of theatre, anything is possible when you, when you harness the audience imagination yeah. in the right way. For sure.